Let's use a balloon in a chamber to improve our understanding of the relationship between pressure and volume on two different types of process. The first setup is a sealed balloon inside a chamber at atmospheric pressure. And when we start to pump gas out of the chamber, the remaining molecules spread out to fill the volume, and as a result, the pressure reduces. The gas in the balloon also spreads out to fill the space left by the air we removed. The balloon is not a pressure vessel, so the pressure inside it and around it inside the chamber is always exactly the same. So if the balloon grew to twice its original size, then we would know that the pressure all around it is one half of atmospheric pressure. A vacuum pump working on this setup would need to be selected based on its ability to achieve that set pressure in a required time frame. Now consider a second setup. What if the mouth of the balloon is not tied inside the chamber, but instead is connected to atmospheric pressure outside the chamber? When we start to pump out the gas, the balloon again expands. But what's happening to the pressure now? This time, there is a different mechanism. Evacuating the bell jar lowers the pressure slightly in the chamber, but through the connection to atmosphere, air is drawn back into the balloon. So the pressure inside the chamber equalizes at atmospheric. Throughout the test, we continue to pump at atmospheric pressure, and any pump required to do this would need to be sized based on the constant flow of air coming in at the atmospheric condition.